I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve conditional probability questions. As an example, I have a die which is rolled twice. What is the probability that the sum of the two is less than 10 given that the first roll is 6? So that is the question for you. So we are rolling a fair six sided die two times. First time when we roll, we get 6. Now the question is, what is the probability that the sum of the two is less than 10? That's the question, right? So you need to read the question a couple of times so that you exactly understand what are they talking about, right? So what we now understand is that a die is being rolled twice and we need to find the probability that we get a sum of less than 10 when the first roll is 6. So we are given the first roll outcome, right? So let me say this is our die number 1 and uh, the options as you know are 6, we could get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6, right? Now these are the options for us and when we roll it's second time. So let's say this is the same die being rolled second time. Even then, we have one of the six options. So let me write down these numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as I'm sharing with you the solution of this question, I'm also sharing with you my thought process and the approach which you can adopt in solving such questions, right? So what we see here is the first roll is 6. So we already got 6 in the first roll, right? So we have got this, these numbers. 6 is in the first roll. Now the question is that the sum should be less than 10. Okay, let's write down the sums, all possible sums first. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So these are increasing by 1, right? So we can just write numbers like this. 2 plus 1 is 3, increasing by 1, right? 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 plus 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6 plus 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. What do we need to find? We, we need to find the probability that the sum is less than 10. Okay, let us see which is that area where the sum is less than 10. So sum is less than 10 for all these cases. Do you see all these cases? So, so all these cases on, on the above side, the sum is less than 10. Okay. Now what is important here is we are given condition. The condition is first roll is 6, right? First roll is 6. Now, if first roll is 6, there are how many ways can we get a number less than 10? We could figure that out, right? So there are, so the second roll could be either 1, 2, or 3 to get a number which is less than 10. Do you see that? So that is the output. Now, straight looking into the output, you can say, since first roll is 6, now when you roll the second time, it says, what is the probability that the sum of 2 is less than 10? So we have 3 out of 6 options, right? So the number second time could be from 1 to 3 or 4, 5, 6. If the number is from 1 to 3, we get sum less than 10. So these are 3 out of 6 options. So the favorable options are, we can say an A, sum less than 10, is 3. And total number of options is that the sum could be, or the, ro the role is from 1 to 6, right? So the total number of options are 6. And therefore, the probability for this condition, we say probability of A when B has happened, right? So probability of A when B has happened is 3 out of 6, correct? Since we are looking at this, this is our B item, right? So it has happened. First roll is 6, right? So we are calling that as our event B. 
Now, if B has happened, there are 50% chances that the sum is going to be less than 10, right? So that is how you can solve with logic. Now, the other way to solve is that we can apply the formula, right? So the formula is we are interested in finding what is the probability that the sum of 2 is less than 10 given that the first row is 6. So we need to find probability of A over of B when we are given that the first row is 6. So that could be written as intersection of probability of A and B, right? Divide by probability of B. So this is the alternate method. So let me now get you the alternate method. So alternately, we can find the probability of the event when the first event happens by using this formula. Then what is the intersection of these two events? And what is the probability of the first event to happen? Now clearly here, probability of getting six, first roll of six, probability of getting this is what? Probability of getting this is one out of six, correct? One out of six. So this is one out of six. Now, probability of intersection of A and, and B is how much? It is these three. These three are the options out of all 36, correct? It is these three options out of all 36. So it is three out of 36, right? So, so that is what it is. So of the whole, six times six options these are the three options which will give us some less than 10 now if you solve this then what do you get you get 3 over 36 times 6 over 1 and that is half right so you get the same result so you land up in the same same result right so i hope you understand how to apply this conditional probability formula? Let me summarize this formula here. Probability of event A when B has occurred is equal to probability of intersection of A and B, that means when both can happen, over probability of B. So that is the formula which is used for conditional probability. You can always use it and get the result. But at times, a figure like this can show you the result, right? So, so at times you can see and then derive at the result, right? So as we saw here, there were only three out of six chances of getting less than 10. Therefore, the probability is three over six, which is half. So that is how you should approach conditional probabilities. You can do logical reasoning or the formula. Both are kind of same things. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this picture gives you a clear idea of what is conditional probability and how to solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.